Hello everyone, this is Fresh and 15, take two. It is a Monday and, uh, you know, lovely Mondays. Um, my hair is on day three and I figured it would be a perfect day to do a more relaxed look. Um, I don't get all dolled up for school because I walk a billion miles and it's hot out still because I'm in College Station and um, so I figured it would be a perfect one to do a little bit of a more relaxed makeup and my hair up. So, um, I have my timer ready and um, the last time I did one was probably about almost four weeks ago coming this four weeks ago this coming week because I did it the first week that I was here so um, my face is finally starting to clear up I have some light blemishes but um, I've been using a new I had to kind of figure all that out because it's very humid here so I have to, I'm using now two different face washes and um, washing one with one end of the day and one with one at the beginning of the day so I'll have to show that in the post because it can be brutal with the humidity trying to control your skin and the water's not as hard it's softer anyway craziness so I'm finally adjusting and um, it's good so that being said we are going to get this party started and hope that I make the 15 again so um, ready set go <coughs> I use a um, user and moisturizer. Um, it's just kind of a, I did this years ago because um, I have very sensitive skin. I'm allergic to sunscreen. Um, and and, uh, and so I um, needed something that was not going to burn my skin. So I ended up using that. I'm probably going to change when I'm done with that because I just want something a little more um, good for my makeup and then putting on my primer you need that in this heat so that you have a little bit of coverage by the end of the day it's a joke but but hey at least you start the day off right right <laughs> um, okay I'm going to use a dab of my Lorac um, I think I'm going to get some one of my favorite fellow bloggers, Kate Bryan from Smoffy's Blog, I talk about her a lot. Um, she uses a beauty cream, and I think I might get a beauty cream just for like every every day. I really like my Lorac makeup for non um, school days because it's almost pointless to try and even use this because it's so freaking hot out and humid. The morning is the worst with the humidity. It's really awful. Okay, 1327. Get some concealer out. Dabble up these spots here. Finally, I'm on the mend. I'm telling you, this is a bad breakout. And whenever you think you get it under control, you wake up the next day and you're like, what is going on? My face is in a bad way. And that was another time I took a cold or something. So, sorry about that. Our 15 minutes is not over. That was a quick 15 minutes. So I'm just, I'm not going to do any eyeshadow today. I'm just going to do an under eye with some, probably some liner and mascara. I don't need, I don't need to go the full shebang. Uh, or I don't need to get melted off later. And I'm just using a translucent, or not translucent, a little um, powder from Mary Kay to kind of try and um, blend it. Translucent, just to 
polish it off. Last time, I don't remember how the last time I used this MAC um, New Romance Mineralized Blush. I absolutely love it. It's like a perfect pink, um, perfect pink for just a little everyday color, and you can add more or add bronzer at the bottom to create more of a drastic line. Um, so I really like that. And um, I used to use bronzer on my cheeks every day, but I decided I don't really like that harsh look. So if I do use anything, um, I put a little bit on the top in here and my nose. And it's um, Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. Just side my makeup. Um, okay, so let's get some highlight. Um, <clears throat> this is just from the drugstore. I prefer the like crayon type pencil because sharpening is not my friend. I'll say that. So this is just a Revlon, um, you know, eyebrow. Okay, so then for my eyebrows, I don't know if anyone else has a struggle of long-haired eyebrows. What a weird statement, right? Um, I have very dark eyebrows. I've never colored them or anything like that. I've just always had darker-haired eyebrows. So I usually take the back of my um, tweezers and then and I just kind of comb them down and then I take um, my Naked Basics <coughs> um, palette and I take the primal and I just kind of fill them in a little bit because, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to get them to stay because um, I like to fill them in a little bit otherwise they look kind of like bleak. So um, I look a little drastic right now on my, on my eyelash. Um, and I just use like a little angled brush. Um, okay, so next is mascara. Now, some people are not fans of the um, Mineral 3D Fiber Mascara. Um, Kate Bryan being one of them, she doesn't really like it. And I am a total fan of it, so I really honestly think that it's personal preference um, to like how thick you like your eyelashes, but I like this because I feel like I can wear just this and still look like I have, um, and I don't use a ton. I mean, as you can see here, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't use a lot of fibers because, um, I already have long lashes, so it just kind of creates a little bit more of a, and you can compare here, that's one eye, and it's just like a layer, and then this is another layer, so let's see, what are we at here? Okay, 758.57. So, if you're interested in trying the 3D Fiber Mascara, I can put a link to it in the post. Um, I think you, everyone should give it a try. Um, in my opinion, okay, so I think once you do use this, you never go back. That's just my opinion, but um, I really like just how it um, creates this luminous look. And uh, okay, I'm gonna take that. I read another tip today from Kate. She takes a little brush and she takes her translucent powder and the way she keeps her um, fibers from falling on her face is she just takes her translucent and just kind of goes in. So I'm trying that today. Let's see how that works. That's a great tip because that seems to be my struggle is that. And then I just, I don't use the fibers on the bottom. Oh, that's disastrous. Do no, I don't do that. I just use a little bit of the gel. Okay, so face done. 
your time. It's day three, so I'm sticking a little bit of my favorite Batista, Batista dry shampoo in. This is some of my favorite dry shampoo. I absolutely love it. Gives my hair some crazy volume. I have yet to try texture spray. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know what. I, I'm curious to know how my hair would um, would do with that. I don't. I don't honestly know. Um, if I have to try it. doing a quick Dutch braid here. Finally mastered the Dutch braid. I'm pretty thrilled about it. This is what I get next when my hair gets sloppy. I'm having trouble. And I have four minutes and 30 seconds. Ooh, this is fun. Tease the hair back here. I'm just trying to hold it down. I still need to get some clear elastic bands, but um, until then, I use a um, just a regular black, and then I just kind of take some bobby pins because I have more layers and my hair is not as long. I just kind of put them underneath. Two minutes and 54 seconds. And then here comes the hair braid. I mean, grab my hairspray. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it. <sighs> a minute and 51 seconds to spare. So I'll put a little lip color on. This is just my nude um, MAC Myth. Um, I just like because it's natural and it's like a nice perfect flip and then I just stick like a little 
menthol shine um, bath and body works over it it just creates this nice little shiny look okay and there you have it let me touch up a little got a little blemish here on my chest not good And sometimes I go back in afterwards and just like lightly brush my blemishes and I'm going to take a tip for those with acne. Get matte, um, matte like bronzer and, um, and blush because shimmer draws more attention to your, um, your acne. So, no, my nose is not that brown. I did get a little burned at the game on Saturday, so that's why it's a little, <laughs> a little sun-kissed. Anyway, um, so 21 seconds to go, and we're done. So um, anyway, I hope this was inspiring and helpful to you all. Take two, um, more casual look, not curled hair, just done up, um, and get it took just as long. Funny how that happens. Um, so uh, this is just a basic... One. So anyway, I hope you all, and there's my timer. I hope um, everyone has a wonderful rest of their day, and please share um, your pictures on social media. So have a great rest of your day. Bye.